What's up guys? I got attacked here and seems to have a problem with it. It's reading off in higher RPMs and I'm going to see if we can repair it. But first we'll need to know how it operates, what kind of signal we need to generate to make this thing operate and we'll go from there. All right guys, let's get to it. Before we can start bench testing the tachometer, we need to know um, how the tachometer is actually being operated. In the service manual, we are given that 100 RPM is equal to 200 pulses per minute. With that, we need to convert the pulses per minute to cycles per second, which is the frequency that we want. So going through, we know that one pulse is one cycle. So we've gotten that taken care of. We'll take the, the whole given e equation and convert the pulses per minute to cycles per second. So we know one cycle is equal to one pulse. And we know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Going through the math, we've come up with 200 cycles per 60 second and reducing that brings us to 100 RPMs is equal to 3.333 Hertz. So we wanted to uh, know what RPM at what given frequency. So the ratio is now 100 RPMs per 3.333 Hertz. And reducing that to 30 RPMs per 1 Hertz. So our equation, therefore, is your frequency times 30 will give you the RPM. Using that, we can go and generate a frequency. And we can look at the RPM on the tack and see if it's correct. So the frequency multiplied by 30, we should have an RPM. Now that we have uh, gone through and uh, worked through the uh, specifications given by Honda, we can go ahead and generate our frequency and determine uh, what RPM it should be at at a given frequency. What I have here is uh, a frequency that is at 50 hertz, as you can see on the multimeter. I just have the multimeter here just so you guys can see the uh, frequency being generated. The scope is just there because I just have it and um, I've worked with the scope and I like it. Just easier to see on the scope. Um, and so it's generating a 50 hertz frequency right now. And from the equation, um, 50 times 30, we should be at about 1500 RPM on the gauge. And this gauge is reading uh, a little bit lower than what it should be. We could attempt to uh, adjust it with a potentiometer that's on the back of the board here. And we can adjust it counterclockwise or clockwise. And I can't really bring it up to where it needs to be. So with the from max to max, this is fully uh, clockwise. This is fully counterclockwise. And I only have a, uh, a small range there and I can't even get to the 1500 RPM. So what next uh, I'll do is um, I'll change the frequencies to generate a higher RPM. So I'm going to generate a 250 Hertz frequency. As you can see on the digital multimeter here is about 248, 49 my uh, scope says 250 Hertz. So at 250 Hertz, multiply that by 30, we should be about 7,500 RPM. And we're only seeing on the gauge at a little over 6,500 RPM. I won't be able to adjust it because I'm already maxed out, fully clockwise, counterclockwise brings it down so um, there's an issue with this uh, tachometer. I've uh, looked into it and there's a capacitor on the board 
that has leaked. So I'm going to go ahead and um, change it and we'll see if it fixed the problem. But we do know it isn't reading correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the capacitor and we'll test again and let's see if that fixes it. Now that I've just replaced the capacitor and with the 50 hertz uh, frequency, look at our uh, gauge. We're reading almost 2000 now. This is no uh, potentiometer adjustments yet. So we know that at 50, it needs to be 1500 RPM. So I'm going to adjust it so that it drops down. Now I'm just going to show you, look at the, so it's fully clockwise fully counterclockwise so now I have that range so I'm just gonna get it to 1500 that's about 1500 let me generate a 250 Hertz frequency and see if it is 7500 RPMs what do you know it's reading a little bit better than uh, before so I'm just gonna see if I can adjust it Let's look at the range. Well, fully clockwise and fully counterclockwise. So I have way much more adjustment. Yeah, so I'm just going to set it to 7,500 RPMs. And I'll go back down to 50 Hertz. And what do you know? The gauge reads perfect now. Uh, let's go back to 250 hertz. 250, 248.9 hertz on my DMM. On my scope is 250 hertz. Let's try something in between just to see where we're at. Uh, I don't know what this uh, will give me. So we're at, say, 100 hertz. So we should be at 3,000 RPMs. And our gauge is 3,000 RPMs. Let's go with something else. Let's see. So 62.4 hertz. So let's say 62.5 times 30. So we should be at 1875 RPM. And that looks about right. And there you guys have it. Uh, we've just repaired this uh, tack from a 92 to 95 Honda Civic um, It had a bad capacitor. This is how it's done and uh, I'll see you guys again. Thanks for watching